Welcome back. I'm now joined by the Bash Brothers of One-on-One -on -one Sports, Kurt Leston and Andy Harris. The NHL regular season has ended, and it's time to get our experts' thoughts on the playoffs. Guys, now we're heading into the playoffs. Which team, which matchup do you see as the best in the East right now? We'll start with you, Andy. I'm looking at the Flyers versus the Buffalo Sabres. You know, a good, good old-fashioned 7-2 matchup. Okay. Um, the Flyers, for most of the season, <laughs> dominate, dominate the Atlanta Conference. But they've really stumbled the last couple weeks, have gone 9-7-7 seven, and seven in their last 25 games. Um, they have not played well. They have major, major question marks at goalie. I mean, Sergei Bobrovsky, a rookie. Do you really want to count on a rookie come playoff time? He's got a great last name, though. Uh, it's a fantastic last name. On the other hand, the Sabres have Ryan Miller, defending uh, Vizina Viz uh, candidate, and a winner, actually. So you're telling me you think you could see an upset early? Yeah, I'm, I'm sensing an upset here. As wow. a Flyers fan, I could see the Flyers stumbling. Take, you know, maybe looking past this round, you know, seeing the seventh seed and not make it to the second round. I love the confidence. You sound like a Mets fan. But now, <laughs> now getting to my match in the East, like which that. I think is the best, happens to be the Bruins and the Canadians, 3-6. Now, these are two teams with stacked rosters. Bruins with great goaltender Thomas. Yes. They have Nathan Horton. They have Bergeron, Lucic. Goes on and on. With the Canadians, P.K. Subban, Carey Price in net, Brian Chanta. Lineups speak for themselves. But the best thing about these two teams... They hate each other. They can't stand each other. If you want to see a matchup that ends up being a bloodbath, tune into this one. Before we move on, I can't see Boston losing the one. Tim Thomas is too good. Montreal doesn't have the scores. I have to give it to Kurt. I, I like the history between these two teams, but I'm surprised you didn't want to said. Well, I'm surprised you didn't say the fourth and fifth seeds, uh, Pittsburgh and Tampa Bay. Oh, with Pittsburgh's the, gonna blow them out. Oh, oh well, okay. I'll <laughs> give you your thoughts Pittsburgh on that. Pittsburgh fan. Well, now we've talked about the East. Now let's move on to the, their Western opponents. What do you see as the best matchup in the West, Kurt? Mine, I'm going with the 4-5 seed, Anaheim Ducks, oh, Nashville Predators. Why is that too easy? 4-5? Hey, keep your eye on the Ducks like this postseason. 8-9 just... game in the NCAA. Come on. All right, fine, whatever. <laughs> You're hurting that. my head here, okay? Now, the Ducks. Look at this team. Corey Perry, Ryan Getzlaff, Timo Solani looks like he's 27 again. Jonas Hiller in net. This is a team that could go far in the playoffs, surprise a lot of people. The Predators aren't scoring a lot of goals. They acquired Mike Fisher. He can help out, but they're a scrappy team. You never know how far they could take the Ducks. Yeah, it'll probably be an interesting matchup, but I don't <coughs> see how you're picking against Canucks versus the Blackhawks. Defending Stanley Cup champs versus the team who just won the President's And how, how is that? The Blackhawks have been struggling all year. How is that a good series? Because they still have fantastic <laughs> offensive depth. With Taves, Patrick Sharp, Marion Hosa. Who've all been underachieving. Yeah, but they're still very good players. You're, you're telling me they're not going to show up in the playoffs? Not at all. Because They've been underachieving in the regular season because they're resting on their laurels. Okay, we're Stanley Cup champions. We don't have to try. You know, we have a birth, you know, birth right back to the playoffs. Playoffs come. They're going to win. Also, the Canucks had the 30th strength of schedule. 30th easiest schedule. I'm sorry. Third easiest schedule. I apologize. I can't do math. Third easiest schedule in the NHL. One-on-one -on -one sports, we don't do mm. math. But listen. No, we don't. I, I, I have to agree. Andy. Andy has one. It. Are you upset, kidding me? Baby. It is going to be upset. an upset. Go but I'm surprised you didn't say <laughs> Phoenix, Red Wings, you know? The a rematch one. of the quarterfinals from last one. year? Red Wings okay. blow them out. Well, we've talked about some of the matchups, but what do you, and you've already thrown out some pretty interesting thoughts, but what do you think is, what can I, is your boldest prediction that you can give me for the upcoming of the playoffs, Andy? Well, I alluded to this a second ago. I don't think either one seed's making it to the next round. Okay, that is really bold. Yes. Sorry, say I that know. again? Neither one seed is making it to the next round. Oh, please explain this, please. Okay. Um, Capitals? No goaltending. I'm sorry. I, I don't even remember their goalie's last name. And I did research 10 minutes before the show. <laughs> that is how much of a no-name he is. I'm sorry. You can't count on a guy like that. I don't care that they have a Vetchkin. I don't care. They really don't have a whole lot of depth behind him. Okay. They've really, they, if Vetchkin had a down year, you want to talk about, about the uh, Blackhawks having down years. No goaltending. A down year from a Vetchkin. I'm not seeing it. That's one I could see happen because the Rangers are a scary team. But mm -hmm. what about in the West? Do you really think Vancouver can lose? Yes, I just said that. They have the best ago. goaltender in the league. And the Blackhawks have the seventh best goaltender in the league. Who's a rookie? The, yes, I know. But I, the, the thing is here, I really, really like the Blackhawks' <laughs> offensive depth. I alluded to this a minute ago. I also see the upset here. I really think Vancouver might be looking past this one. Not to mention Chicago show they can get it done in the playoffs okay. last year. I, I understand what you're saying. But for me, my bullet prediction has to be the Tampa Bay Lightning. The Tampa Bay Lightning will represent the Eastern Conference oh. in the Stanley Cup Finals. Ooh, Look at this team. Hurt. Martin St. Louis, Kurt. about 100 points this year. Vincent LeCarre, back on track. Steven Stamkos, young phenom. Anything more we can say about him? He's phenomenal. They have role, role players like Ryan Malone. And you know what? They have go the goaltending will be enough to get them there. 
I'm sorry, I'm not seeing it. They're a two-trick pony type team. Stamco, St. Louis, that's all I have. They really, I'm not, I'm not counting on their goaltending. And for, they scored seven more goals this season than they allowed. All that's right. not a recipe for success. I like both of your thoughts, both of your ideas on it. Mainly mine. My, my bold prediction, there's going to be at least three suspensions coming out of the Boston-Montreal <laughs> series. It's going to be a bloodbath, like Kurt might said. get arrested when yeah. he goes there. That does it for this one-on-one -on -one webcast. Thanks for tuning in, and as always, whose side are you on?